We begin tonight with a million dollar heist with an unusual getaway vehicle. Thieves use big rigs to haul off high end merchandise and get away unnoticed until now. Uh, Gwinnett County police say it's happened not once, but twice at neighboring businesses. Yeah, each time it's the same M.O. and officers hope releasing surveillance video will keep them from hitting again. Fox 5's George Franco joins us live outside one of those businesses where the thieves struck. George? Well, Russ and Sunay security has been increased here at Dow Electronics, one of two companies hit pretty hard by thieves using big rigs. It starts at Dow Electronics in unincorporated Duluth when a silver Nissan sedan drops off four men all clad in black. Three of them walk to the shipping door of Dow. Another hangs out in the woods. Police say a few minutes later, the men who enter Dow are seen leaving with a fourth person. They were able to disable their alarm system that would have been able to notify the key holder or police. Corporal Wilbert Rundle says a couple of hours after the alarm was disabled, an 18-wheeler arrives and leaves its trailer at the loading dock. The truck departs, then returns to reconnect to the trailer. It leaves Dow with $350,000 worth of high-end electronics. For TVs, car stereos, uh, a, a wide variety of electronic devices, a large quantity and a, lar a lot of high-dollar items. They obviously got together, planned it out, and broke in there and took whatever they could. Luis Rivera, who was transporting for a neighboring company of Dow, says most people would not question a big rig in this area. But two weeks after Dow, earlier this month, a couple of semis were recorded, leaving Stampede Presentation products in unincorporated Lawrenceville. This time, police say the crooks took $600,000 worth of electronics after the alarm had been deactivated there as well. We don't have anything showing that it's the exact same crew yet, but we, the detectives believe that, that they are linked. Corporal Rundle says the two big rig jobs netted thieves nearly a million dollars in electronics. He adds the trailer connected to the Dow theft was located in Miami, fueling speculation about the high-end loot. We don't have anything lead, uh, telling us exactly what happened to it, uh, but it's, it seems to have hit the black market. And Black Friday's coming up, so you know they planned this thing out. I reached out to both companies involved but did not get a call back. Now, coming up, all new on Fox 5 News Edge at 11 o'clock, police talk to us about some of the tools which were left behind. In Gwinnett County tonight, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks so much, George.